Well, you know, obviously if you're kind of in the midst of a four game losing streak, but the last two games, probably a little bit better uh, efforts. Do you feel like that, that's the way that the tide's kind of turning and you can kind of get out of it based on those two performances? Yeah, you could say that. I think last two games, you could e we could easily have had a better fate in the game, especially the one last night. You watch the game, we had, you know, we had over eight minutes of possession in the offensive zone. They had under three. I mean, we did a lot of good things. We didn't score enough. That's, uh, but we're moving the right direction, moving the right direction. How do you feel about your, your five-on-five -five play of late? Well, I wish we could capitalize some more. We're creating enough. We're ozone time enough. I mean, that's, that's all even strength stuff. We're, we're around it enough. We're just not capitalizing enough. Uh, Connor McDavid and Leon Draisaitl lead the league in ice time among forwards. I know you, you know, you're a pretty much a one power play unit team. The second unit doesn't get a whole lot. Mm -hmm. Is it, is it in this, in this great depth, uh, search for depth scoring, is it more difficult sometimes when you've got the guys you've got, is it harder for the depth guy to make an impact? No, well, if you're just talking about strictly on power play, it's harder for those guys. They don't get on the ice as much. But I think you're, you're, the power plays, we've had a lot more power play time in the last couple of games than we have for a while, so it jumps out at you that those guys play some more there. But our, uh, you, know, you look at the, the even strength times are a lot closer than that. You know? So you have, we have the, two, the three guys that spend a lot of time in the power play. The other two guys interchange usually after a minute or just after a minute. That's how our power plays run for a long time now, and we've had success with it, so you go with it. But the last couple of games, we've had an inordinate amount of power plays that seem like, and sometimes you get power plays there, you get too many of them too close together, so you have to, but just the last two games have ended up where we've had lots of power play time. And the Minnesota game, I didn't like the power play as much because Minnesota did a good job. They were going down back and forth, but you watched the game last night, not much, they were two minutes in the zone just about the whole time, right? So when you're two minutes in the zone, there's not a lot of back and forth skating. It's, it's pressure on all the time. It's hard to say, okay, change now because you're, you're in the zone. So it, it, go, it fluctuates either way, you know, a couple different ways. So they, uh, their ice time is what it is a lot because of the power play situation. Like two nights ago, they were, they were uh, nine minutes in the power play, last minute seven on the power play. So... That's what drives the ice time up. And, and the other fact that you're chasing the game. That's, that's a factor that comes into play also. Uh, Mike Smith and Duncan Keith. Both skated this morning, getting closer. I don't think either of them are a player tomorrow, but they're getting closer. Good. All right. uh, just uh, Chris Russell, have you heard any further? Uh, he's getting some tests done today. We'll know more later today, but it looks like looks like it could be at least a week or so. We'll see, but uh, won't won't have a full update until tomorrow after we get the tests later today.